everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. It's time for another Featured Friday. Today, we have not a hand sample as sometimes we do, but more of a macro landscape sized feature. And if you look off in the distance there, there are a couple of cool things to see. It's actually pretty cool in person. Um, I have the sun setting, so I have to do this quickly. Um, the zoom isn't the best, but yeah, in the distance, there's some, there's a, a like a cliffside back there, and then there's this feature here, but look at the middle at that, what's poking up there. That's what we're looking at today. So that's my rock hound in the background. If you hear her, she is, she shows up in a lot of the videos here at Let's Go Geo, but um, hopefully she's not too distracting. Okay, so the way the Featured Fridays work, if you're new to it, you are supposed to try to guess what we have. So I show hand samples and crystals and rocks and minerals, but sometimes also landscape sized features as we have today. And take a look at that feature. Take a look at that interesting feature there and see if you can guess what that is. What do you think that is? Geologically speaking, what is it? What happened? What do we have here? So there's a couple different ways, a couple different things you might be thinking. Um, and I will talk about those in a second. I usually give you enough time to make your guess. Put it in the comments below and try not to cheat. It's just fun to try to see if you can guess what it is. And then towards the end of the video, I will talk a little more about it. So I'll give you some hints. I am in Washington State right now. So if you know anything about Washington's geology, that might be helpful, although the state does have some interesting variation. And I have been working on a lot of interesting videos lately um, about some of the cool geologic features in Washington. Many of those lately have had to do with the Cascade Volcanoes. And if you remember right, I talked about how the Cascade Volcanoes, what you see today as the active volcanoes is not the whole story because there are old volcanic remnants. Um, these features that used to be active volcanoes, but they're basically dead volcanoes. Now we just have the remnants. So we have these rock units left from ancient volcanoes. So we, we can get a lot of features, a lot of cool landscape features related to volcanoes. And sometimes... Uh, when you see thing, features like this, like this fin, there's a couple of things you should be thinking. One, you could think, oh, I've seen that maybe in places like Utah. There's other spots, but that's kind of classic. And they're called hogbacks. So they're these fins of rock, usually sedimentary rock, that stick up. And they, it's a unit that is, is the bedding, the, the bed, the rocks layers have been moved to be literally vertical or just about vertical rather than their original horizontal uh, position that they were laid down in. Um, but I can tell you from the first hint that this is more of a volcanic feature. So there's, there's all your hints so far. All right, hopefully you have your guess in the comments. And now let's talk a little more about this feature. Like I said, it's volcanic. So we can get some interesting remnants from volcanoes. We can actually get basically the cores of volcanoes that are left behind. And then over time, they'll erode into some interesting shapes. We can get dikes uh, from the volcanoes. We can get these, these, this line of what was molten rock that cooled. Um, ship rock is a really interesting type of feature in New Mexico, if you've seen that. So we can get these fin-like features that are remnants from volcanoes. And then there's intrusions. So we can get an intrusion of material that has once pushed up through, say, cracks in existing rock. And um, there's a lot of different types of intrusions. There are more small scale and more large scale intrusions. What we're looking at here is a volcanic intrusion. That material was once molten rock and it pushed through and then it eventually cooled. And that leaves uh, the material you see today but at the time there was probably other rock around it but what happens with actually with most of the features I've talked about today is that the surrounding material will erode and erode over time making that fin look a lot more prominent and that's what we have here anything that was softer a different type of rock can erode a lot faster um, 
But what we're looking at there is a fin, um, a, a, an, an intrusion from a very old volcano millions of years ago. Um, that magma material was pushing up. And in this case, the chemistry of that fin is uh, andesitic. So we have andesite rock. And if you remember, andesite is an inter intermediary type of rock when we're talking about extrusive igneous rocks, right? So think about that scale. On one end, you have rhyolite, like a more purely silica rich type of rock. A lighter colored often, the whites and pinks and stuff like that. And then you go on the other end of the scale and you have the more basalt uh, material and that's rich in, in iron and in um, magnesium, sometimes manganese and these darker minerals, the maybe pyroxenes and amphiboles and stuff like that. So in the middle, we have some intermediary rocks and we've talked about those of, as we've been exploring the Cascade Volcano. So we have stuff like decite and andesite and some other rocks that fall in that middle uh, spot in the scale. So like I said, this is andesite. It is a pyroxene rich andesite. And that, again, basically, if you guessed something to do with volcanoes, good job. Um, and we would just basically call it an intrusion. And that is our feature for today. Um, if you're interested in learning more about the volcanic geology of Washington, definitely check out the Washington Geology playlist here at Let's Go Geo. And if you're not already subbed, join me on the next adventure. We go on geology and geography field trips. I take you along in the field to show you the features firsthand in a kind of virtual field trip. So otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next adventure.